Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today I have a rather large Ulta haul for you guys. I wound up picking up one of their freebie bags this past month. I haven't actually done an Ulta haul with a freebie bag since November. I technically filmed it in November and posted it in December during Vlogmas, but it's been about three months since I got one of these freebie bags and I thought I'd show you guys in this video what I picked up because there are quite a few items I had been eyeing up recently. And I know a bunch of my hauls lately I've been doing try-ons during the video, but since this is a larger haul, I figure we will separate the two. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up in Ulta and what I got for free from Ulta, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, let me start with the makeup I picked up. So recently I posted a video talking about the expensive makeup I wish I could afford. It fairly unanimously seemed like there was one product in there everyone said is totally worth it. So you guys did it. You peer pressured me and I did grab the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I feel like this is something fantastic, especially for me when I get up and go to work because maybe if I can correct my under eye circles a little bit more easily, I wouldn't have to load on quite as much concealer as I currently have been. So if that could help solve my lack of sleep issues, then Maybe it will be worth it. I did grab two products to do kind of like a versus thing on my channel that I've kind of been doing lately. So the first is from Physicians Formula. This is their new powder. This is the Natural Defense Finishing Powder with SPF 20. So I kind of want to try to compare this to the Physicians Formula Healthy Powder that I love so much. I have heard it is not being discontinued but they're discontinuing it everywhere but Walmart and their website, something like that. Like those are the only places you'll be able to find it. I don't fully get it, but I did want to give this a try, compare the powders, see if this is as good, since this is now what is the new hot thing on the market. The other item I grabbed is from Milani. This is their Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. I actually really want to try this compared to one of the blushes I have from Flower Beauty to see how I feel about the comparison of the two formulas. Only one other makeup product I bought was because it was on sale. This is half price and this is the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil. I think this typically retails for $10, but I did get it for five. And I got the shade Dark Brown. I feel like I have heard somebody speak highly of this brow pencil, so I wanted to give it a go. Then nothing else here is makeup. <laughs> that was all the makeup I grabbed. Sort of self-controlled, only four things, I know. All right, let's start with the one skincare product I bought. So I love my Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Lifesaver. Uh, I'm very low on it, like almost out of it. It's very expensive, in case you weren't aware. But I've heard a lot of people raving up this product from The Ordinary. So this is their AHA BHA Peeling Solution. I watch Hiram a lot, very addicted to his skincare channel. And this is like one of the products he like swears by. So considering the ordinary is a lot more affordable than pharmacy, I want to give this a go when my pharmacy product runs out. Then I bought two hair products. So this is going to seem weird, but when I'm self tanned like this, like if I have my part, it's very pale and I feel like it looks so odd, like my roots. So I actually got a root touch up spray. <laughs> like sometimes I'll fill in like this area with eyeshadow but like the actual roots i just want to be able to darken them up and i've actually heard a lot of people use this product this is the l'oreal magic root cover-up it's for temporary uh, gray concealing but i actually wanted to just try it to like even out everything up there and i did grab this in the shade medium brown and i grabbed one other hair product i am kind of getting tired of the color of my ends and I really don't want to go and pay to get my hair re-dyed brown. I just want to be brown again. So I saw this in the news section. It's called, Four, it's on the brand Four Reasons. And this is a color mask and it's a toning treatment. Number one for colored brown hair, gives a warm brown tone, makes hair healthy, shiny, refreshes and tones hair color. And this is the shade chocolate. So maybe I'll make a video trying to tone down some of the blonde, more brown at some point, if you guys want to see me try that. Let me know. One last thing I purchased. This is from St. Tropez. And okay, so it's like a kit. It's a new kit. And the first is a, some, like a mini size of their self 
self tan express kit that is the tan i'm wearing right now it's my all-time favorite i'm actually almost completely out of my current one so i have this now and they have a new mitt and i oh wow this feels like such good quality compared to the current mitt so i guess they put out a new mitt Ooh, this is what i was like the most excited about to try their new mitt it's like very soft i bet you it lasts a lot longer too so grab that as well before we get into the freebie bag the day i bought this the diamond level had a free gift and it's the ceo vitamin rich hydration cream from sunday riley but it's like only half an ounce of it i think i actually have a sample of this i haven't even used yet so you'll have to let me know if you like this product but i'm kind of confused usually when you get these freebie kits from ulta they come in a like a makeup bag it's in an ulta bag that's like taped up with scotch tape not the most professional looking thing very odd okay so there's the bag of free stuff and at the bottom of the ulta bag is the makeup bag i feel like i say this every time but some of these freebie bags from ulta are like the absolute nicest makeup bags i own and look it's like a little trunk makeup bag that's like a re it's really cute so that's why i love these now for the free stuff first product is from ulta beauty and this is their makeup remover face towelettes these are the only towelettes that have physically burned my skin so i actually only use these for hand swatches because they are painful from opi we have a i have a nail envy strength and color nail polish in the shade bubble bath pretty shade i have a little set here from ahava so we have their dead sea water mineral hand cream their wonderful waters purifying mud mask and their dermud intensive hand cream next from kiehl's i have the cannabis seed oil for blemish prone skin and like it's a little vial very cool this is from love wellness and this is the do it all wipes ph balance natural wipes so this is like feminine care wipes from the body shop we have the hemp hard working hand protector from derma doctor this is the lucky bamboo water gel three packets so i i think it's like a moisturizer but towelettes like maybe for travel i don't know from Bumble and Bumble, I have the B6 Hairdressers Invisible Oil. From IGK, I have the Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I've never tried this one from IGK. From Hurology, I have the Wind Tossed Texture Finishing Spray. I haven't tried this one either. From Touch and Soul, I have the No Pore Blimp Primer. Okay, so it's like a sample size of it. This is a good primer. From Milani, I have a Bold Matte Lipstick. Ooh, it's like an orange shade. This is the shade I Am Brave. I like that shade a lot. From Versace, I have the, I guess it's just the Versace perfume. From CeraVe, I have their PM Facial Lotion. From Dolce & Gabbana, is this just a Dolce & Gabbana perfume? I don't know. From Philosophy of the Nature in a Jar, Sisa Complex Recovery Moisturizer. From Kula, I have the Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Face Serum. I actually do have this. This does work. From Living Proof, I have the Restore Mask Treatment, a hair mask. I don't think I've used this one before. I actually see this a lot at TJ Maxx and sometimes like consider purchasing it. From CoverGirl, is this their new Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Stick? I've actually heard pretty mixed reviews on this product, but I know that's brand new, so that's cool. From Chlorine, I have their Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. This is a really, really good dry shampoo. I like this one a lot. From Cover FX, I have their Perfect Setting Powder. This is a really good setting powder. I like this as well. From Lara Mercier, I have their Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. So I just recently tried out the hydrating one in my Sephora try-on video. I haven't, I don't really think I have a need for their blurring, so I might just put this right in a giveaway. Uh, from Redken, I have the Guts 10 Volume Spray Foam. Very interesting. From Urban Decay, I have a little all-nighter setting spray. Always can use more of that. From Skin & Co, I have the Face Commage. Face commage. I actually got this in my most recent BoxyCharm, and I put it right in my giveaway box because my face is very sensitive and I don't like to use physical exfoliants. From Living Proof, I have the Perfect Hair Day Conditioner. Ah! <laughs> From First Aid Beauty, this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This is the primer I'm wearing today. I absolutely love this. From Smashbox, I have the Oil & Shine Control Primer. 
I don't think this is a product that I really need for my skin type, so this might also go in a giveaway pile. From Shiseido, I have the Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. From Natural Cosmetics, I have the Vital Moisturizing Cream. I have never heard of this brand before. From number seven, I have the Firming Booster Serum. From Awake, I have the Sweet Hydration Moisturizer. From Victor Rolf, I have the Bon Bon Perfume. And lastly, from Becca, I have the First Light Priming Filter. And that is the haul. You'll have to let me know what you guys are excited about, if you're excited for the makeup products I grabbed to do a show off kind of video. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.